Vive la France! We are in Paris! So excited to be here! Bonjour, mes amis! Hello, and welcome back to the Rob Pop YouTube channel, your campus tips, pop culture fix. It's 2024, Happy New Year to you. And it's time today to start with our Eurovision 2024 journey, yes! Now, if you're wondering what was with the crappy French intro, well, I mean, you can probably put two and two together. If we're starting the Eurovision journey today, then we're gonna start with the first entry if it was revealed Honestly, like two months ago now, so I am extremely late to the party. Everybody has already come done reacted to this video a long time ago. I get it, I need to catch up. But this year, for the first time, I am going to be reacting to every single entry roughly as it comes out. Usually I wait till like March when they all come out and listen to them all in bulk. But this time I wanted to give a bit of attention to every single entry individually. Give them a bit of time. So today we start with France. France! France! We are in Paris! Currently, the winners, the title holders of Junior Eurovision, they are amazing at Junior Eurovision, in fact. And if you ask me, they're kind of amazing at Eurovision recently. I feel like they've been robbed for the last two years of better results. Period. <laughs> last year, Evedemon absolutely slapped. That was in, like, my top five. For Len, the year before, also in my top five. They deserve better with those, but will we be finding that they will do better in 2024? They're being represented by someone called Slimane, who, from my understanding, is actually really quite a big artist in France. His entry is called Mon Amour. I've heard good things, but I've tried to avoid too much because I really want an authentic reaction. Just because it's a favourite doesn't mean I'm going to like it, and I'm not about to fake that I like something just because it's doing well on the internet. This is my channel. Because it's our show and not yours. I will be there in Malmö. I have tickets to both of the jury shows for the semi final so I will be seeing all of these live. So it's about time that I found out what's the crack? What is going on? Is Mon Amour going to be France's return to the left hand side of the scoreboard in the main contest? I can't wait to see how this turns out. Let's get this going. Now, I'm expecting a strong ballad here. That's kind of the tease that I'm getting. Oh, I love his voice. It's got like a real clarity behind it. Yeah, he's got a great voice. If this is actually live and it's stated and currently like pitch perfect. The drama. Honestly, French just do the drama so well. No one is competing with France in the drama department. What a voice. I feel like I'm trying to find the words, but I don't want to talk over him because like, he's got my attention, hook, line and sinker. You know when you just hear something for the first time and you're like, well, this is going to do well, like, I immediately know this is gonna do well. The French language just sounds gorgeous anyway, but pff, under Slimane, it sounds even better. I really like the simplicity of this video as well. It's helping me just completely focus on the song. Dotter is shaking at the glow up vest. This is remarkable. I mean, it's cold in my house, but I do feel like I have goosebumps. I don't even really need to change anything about this. Wow, wow. Okay, look, I am the first to say that I am a basic pop gay. You hit me up with an El Diablo or a Slow Mo, a Fuego. That's where my world lives. That's where I get my life. But like when a ballad is just so undeniably good, you just, honestly, it's just one of those things that you're just, you just have to be like, Fair play, I've got to give it to you. You cannot watch that and not be captivated by that because it's just so good. Quality is quality at the end of the day. That voice is spectacular. It had the soft in moments, which made you sort of feel calm and at ease. But when he wanted to go for it with the power and he just released, like, it's over. This is a return to the left-hand side of the scoreboard. Bear in mind, I've heard one song so far. One song out of 37. But objectively speaking, 
I don't feel like I need to hear all 37 to know how this is going to do. My brain immediately goes to thinking of Marco Mengoni from 2023. I could also somewhat draw a comparison to Two Looney there um, from Jean's Tears in 2021. I'm not saying it sounds just like them, but it lives closest to those two entries. And they were both top five, both massive jewellery favourites, both performed by really commanding standout male performers. And I think Slamane lives up to that. I think he's just as good as those two performers that I just mentioned. He's got just as good of a voice. He's got such great control, a really unique, raspy, but silky smooth in moments, delivery and tone that's very listenable to. If he can perform how he just did right there, if that's supposedly live when we get to Malmö, I'm sorry, I see no world where this is not minimum top 10, likely top five. But every now and again, a ballad can just do it. And look, this is a really wise decision from France, I think. They've taken a risk with like Fulen, which didn't work for them. Then last year, I think was fantastic, and I can't believe Avidamon wasn't on the left-hand side of the board. Um, but I guess it tapped into a bit more of a disco sound. If we're going to be honest, this feels French. So I know that maybe could make people think it's safe. That could possibly be people's criticism of it. But I think the fact that it's performed so well takes me out of caring. Sometimes when things are just in the right hands, then it makes everything so much better because this song could be performed by a weaker vocalist and then it would just feel like a run of the mill ballad. But I really do think it is Slimane Slimane. I apologise, I don't know exactly how you pronounce his name, but I do think it is the power of him performing it that brings the whole package together into something that just feels so strong to me. This is competitive. I've got really high hopes for friends with this and I don't think they will disappoint. Do you know what I mean? I feel like France can feel safe in Slimane's hands because he just seems like such a performer. And I hope they keep the performance style like this as well. It was so simple. It was just a spotlight, a black light, kind of like they did with Voila. Like obviously the shaky camera they added to that really gave it a nice effect, but I feel like they kept Barbara Pravi's staging quite simple and it just allowed the song and the drama to come through. They gave this man a sparkly vest, a spotlight and some reflective light and said, out you go. and. I was sold. I was sold. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Am I giving this song too much credit? Is this already gonna be one of your favorites? I mean, there are like three or, three or four songs out so far, so I guess there's not really much to play with. Give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to my channel if you want more Eurovision content, because I'm gonna be reacting to all 37 entries and a couple of the national finals here and there. I'm definitely gonna be reacting to Melody Grand Prix from Norway. Melody Fest of Valen, at Benidorm Fest, likely UMK. And also hit the bell if you want notifications every time I upload a new video. I am so excited to delve in, so I hope you are ready to join me along for the ride. But for today, we've begun Eurovision 2024. We're on the road, let's get this going. And I'm gonna see you for another video, maybe Czech Republic. Maybe I'll see you with the Czech Republic, but for now. How do you say goodbye in French? Au revoir. Au revoir. That was cringe.